as Bitcoin battles the 50 DMA as it continues its fourth day in a row with tiny baby dumpage. Bitcoin faces its biggest test this week as it attempts to hold the weekly candle above massive $40,000 support. And is Bitcoin being bigly underestimated big time? Now this is what I call big. Your host, Bobby Biggums. And if crypto turns you on more than humans turn you on, then definitely you should watch this video. So you get a new channel immediately. Absolutely time sensitive alerts as well. If you guys are interested in trading, uh, getting altcoins, securing your crypto with a hardware wallet or staking to earn rewards, make sure to check out all the links pinned in the comments and in the description below. And as well, I have one Twitter and one Instagram account and they are both below. Every other Twitter, every other Instagram, every other thing that you get, uh, like email, it's not for me. Okay, I'm never gonna ask you how your trading is going, but I may in fact ask for some feet pics. So if you get a message about that, then maybe give me a shot. But without any further ado, let's dump on it. Mega big. So if we take a look here, Bitcoin will be getting, and maybe by the time you're watching this video, maybe we've already gotten this weekly candle. But uh, we have so much to be jumping into, and we're gonna be jumping into the charts in a second. But uh, let's actually take a look at this first. So uh, it is the Super Bowl in America today, and um, will it affect prices? I think absolutely not. Uh, I've uh, I've been hearing this honestly since like 2016 or 17 about the Super Bowl and because uh, there were ads even back then I think the first one I saw was maybe back in 2017 or 2018 uh, like crypto ads during the Super Bowl they don't really do anything uh, they will you know if say there are a lot of ads on the Super Bowl they'll probably bring, bring a lot of attention and obviously a lot of people even in the NFL are slowly interested uh, in Bitcoin especially like Tom Brady right the most famous uh, quarterback potentially of all time uh, is a big Bitcoin fan and so obviously uh, I think it will over the long term but it, do I think that the Super Bowl is gonna happen and they play some crypto ads and all of a sudden Bitcoins gonna jump up no I, I really think that's insanely unlikely and so um, I mean for example some of the top two threads on the reddit the crypto reddit I strongly believe that the Super Bowl are going to cause the start of the next bull run maybe probably not uh, and then also super bowl won't really affect prices yes i agree with that the fed and putin obviously will have a much bigger bigger impact than the super bowl but anyway before we get into bitcoin charts as well so investors underestimating bitcoin's huge upside potential says fidelity researcher here so the head of research at fidelity digital asset is convinced bitcoin's value prop as a decentralized and censorship resistant monetary network sets it apart from other cryptos. Uh, his name is Chris Cooper here, Chris Kuiper, uh, head of research at Fidelity Digital Assets is convinced that Bitcoin should be treated absolutely different from all other digital assets. Uh, and I mean, in, in some respect it is, there's Bitcoin and then there's altcoins. So that's already a differentiation, but, but he believes that the value prop of Bitcoin as the most decentralized and censorship resistant monetary network is very big. Uh, comparing it even to the the wheel, uh, saying you can't really reinvent something. And he does point out, while a lot of other cryptos have higher upside potentials, which if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you like altcoins because they have the chance of making you way more gains than Bitcoin. Uh, for Bitcoin to 10x would take a lot more capital than it would take for uh, baby diaper coin to 10x, right? That could do much, much bigger gains. It's also much more likely, uh, much more likely to rug and make you lose everything, but the higher the risk, the higher the reward. And let's be honest, right now, the risk for Bitcoin is not as big as it was, but the reward is going forward, it won't be as big. But does that mean you should not invest in Bitcoin? Uh, in my opinion, which is not financial advice, absolutely not. I absolutely believe it's very important to invest in Bitcoin, which is one of the reasons that I make Bitcoin videos every day. And I rarely ever talk about anything except for Bitcoin. And absolutely big, the Bitcoin network hash rate explodes to an all-time high of uh, almost 250 uh, exahashes per second here, from 188 to 250 in just one day, a 30% plus jump, further ensuring resilience against attacks on the network. The hash rate correlates to the computing power required by mining's computer, a miner's computer equipment to confirm a transaction. The recent spike in the network's hash rate ensures further security against attacks by deterring bad actors from confirming fraudulent actions here. Okay, this is just very big. And so the hash rate of Bitcoin will continue to grow. Uh, despite the investors panic induced by the Bitcoin price roller coaster, industry experts point out Bitcoin's network has become verifiably stronger than ever before. And we can monitor this. This is a tangible or a, a very front out in the open 
a uh, piece of data. We can track the the hash rate, and we have. I mean, people have been for a long time, right? Uh, but as well, this is interesting. Netflix announcing a new series on Bitfinex hack involving the one hundred twenty thousand dollar or one hundred twenty thousand Bitcoin. Um, and this was that popular couple uh, that everyone's been talking about: Ilya Lichtenstein and Heather Morgan, the girl who does like or did crypto raps. I guess she's arrested now. I'm not sure. But laundering billions of dollars worth of stolen crypto and is the biggest criminal financial or biggest criminal financial crime case in history. Uh, so that's funny. Uh, again, this, it, the only reason I'm talking about this is because I think it's interesting. Netflix is a big platform and it will interest more people in Bitcoin or at least uh, true crime and crime documentaries and all that stuff are very, very popular topics. And they're not really related to Bitcoin at all. A lot of people that love crime uh, documentaries have nothing to do with Bitcoin or they don't know anything about Bitcoin. So it's a nice little overlap. Again, just further uh, exposure to cryptocurrency, which seems to not be slowing down at all. It seems as, as though Bitcoin, uh, NFTs, crypto in general are becoming more and more popular day after day. So you do the math. Do you think that this factor of continued adoption everywhere uh, as of today, Netflix, right? Do you think this will make the price of crypto appreciate or depreciate? I'll let you decide what you think. Absolutely big is we're still battling right on the 50 DMA. It's very likely we could have a little dip our toes below that. And remember, 40 or 39 to 40K is a very big level. It's also where the 21 DMA is. But as of right now, Bitcoin is, uh, you know, managing to hold up. Uh, it's the weekend, so price action is not super important or indicative of what the, the week will bring. But um, yeah, we will watch SPX as it currently is below the 200 DMA. And that's gonna be important as we get our weekly tomorrow. So you get a new channel, make sure you like, subscribe, turn into these absolute time sensitive alerts as well. If you guys are interested in bonuses, remember, even if you're interested in trading, there are simulated trading uh, options on these links. You do not have to trade any real money. Eh, just do some fake money like Monopoly money and practice it if you're bored, right? The market is kind of boring. And if we do enter a prolonged bear market at some point, uh, trading is an interesting, uh, enticing, and potentially rewarding, but also very risky, obviously, uh, option for you. But let's be honest, everything involved with investing is, is risky, let alone crypto in general. Also, uh, even the stock market these days is insanely risky, as we've seen. Uh, some giant companies are behaving like little baby uh, garbage coins, meaning they dump quite a lot and they're very volatile. So uh, yeah, and as well, I have one Twitter, one Instagram, the rest are all fake. My only real ones are in the description below. So never respond to any scammers. Give me 30 for them, Q. Is it for me?